want to make a video. Your flash is up. That's okay. Okay, so what is this thing? It's a manifold. What is that? It says right there. It's I know, but I know. I know. We read the label. We all. We all. Most of us can read. But why does it call me a retard? It's French. For what? For retard? It's just too high. <laughs> okay, but what does this do? It's checking the pressure and temperature on both sides for different refrigerants. So, oh. so gray in your R22, pink your R410A, and the red at the top is 404A. Okay, so what is, this is telling me the pressure in the line, in the refrigerant yeah, line. So, and then there's also a vacuum here. So this is in PSI. This green bit is in mercury inches, like water column, and mercury column. Okay. And then this is temperature. So the temperature oh and the pressure are, are um, so it's showing you in degrees Fahrenheit. So they're proportionate. Yeah. So if the temperature goes up, the pressure also goes up the same multiple. Yeah. Okay. So, so, so what? You, you want to see this dial? Yeah. Like in Edmonton? Yeah. You want this around 40. So this is telling me the pressure of the refrigerant. Pressure and temperature. And what the blue one? What is so, the red one? So do? look, we're at 200 pounds. Yeah. So that means that the pressure and the line is 200 pounds per square inch. Yeah. Based on, because you're, sure, you're reading the, the blue one, because the blue one is pounds. There's pressure and these are temperatures. All of these? These three. So this tells me the temperature depending yeah, on the R22, type. Okay, so, okay. So, so this is telling me the temperature depending on the refrigerant. So if I've got R22 refrigerant in my line. Then you're at 102 use, degrees Fahrenheit. So I use the green. And if I got R410, which is what we then are, I use the we're about 70 degrees Fahrenheit. And if I got uh, R40, then, I'm, then I use the, the red one. Yeah. Okay, got it. Okay, that makes sense. Now what is the red This dial? is the high side. So this is coming off the compressor. So this is coming out into so the house. So this is what we're feeding into the house. Look, the red is what we're pushing into the house. Okay. And this is a return. Yeah. So the red is always going to be higher. So this is closed. This is inaccurate right now. Because you open you only one at a time. Okay. So the, uh, this thing increases the pressure as the, as the refrigerant comes out. Yeah. So you have to shut one and then open the other one. Yeah. Okay. Unless and then, you have a digital one, there's one that's worth a lot of money. Yeah. And you can see them both at the same time. How much more is it? Like a thousand more. How much is this one? Like Three hundred bucks. So the so this connect. There's always a port here to connect to. Yeah. So okay. And then the yellow. This is your, this is your charging or vacuum line. So okay. You can, you can pull vacuum from this, or you can charge from this. So what does pull vacuum mean? So that's you when I put the so so that's when you put the hoses the first time you wanna no the first time you do nitrogen the nitrogen time so the nitrogen pump. gets all the moisture out and then the vacuum nitrogen does then lots the, of things. and it, just it also does the pressure test to make sure you have no leaks and it's also when you're brazing so you don't oxidize the top okay and then and then the vacuum does what it removes the nitrogen. Removes everything, all the waste, everything coming. Okay, and then so I pulled this down to 200 micron. Okay, and then I left. What it. does that mean? That's how you it's measure unit of micron. But what does that mean? I pulled it down to 200 microns. That's the vacuum. It's a level of vacuum in there. It's a heavy vacuum. Okay, so now if I want to add refrigerizer, what do I do? You open that valve. Okay. With the manifold? Yeah, and then we're gonna watch its temperature. So uh, we wanna increase that to what? I want this so, to go down to the floor. So what are we looking for here? So it's telling me the temperature coming out, out of the coil is about 70 degrees Fahrenheit. Right? Okay, so close that's this, cool. If I close this, we're sending, we're sending refrigerant. So 410 is the pink. The refrigerant's going out at 80, 82 degrees Fahrenheit. So it expands and it cools, yeah. right? And, and then it gets heated up and it comes back. But right, it's too, 
it's it's too the, de low. the difference between the hot and the cold is too small yeah for you to do anything you're not doing nothing so okay. so so you close this so you're closing the, the hot side yeah the hot side's red the cold side blue See, so now open. Some, see this is all linked right the blue so side a little is, bit got, came in here That's so, how it so the blue side goes is going into the house yeah because that's the cool side and then see you pause that pause so you've opened the manifold or you've opened the, the line and this is going to increase in pressure or what? See how it's getting cold now? Put the fan in the middle. Okay. That's what you want to see. Okay. So it was warm earlier. So how, how, what pressure is difference? So what do we want to see here? We want this to drop, this temperature to drop somewhere. Yeah. Where do we want it to drop to? So like 40? Yeah, but this problem now it's too cool. Yeah, but that wouldn't matter. We could still cool it down. So you've opened the valve. Every time I do that, you get about an ounce. So every time you uh, you do that That's though. That's about three ounces. I need to do that the pressure, 17 more times. The pressure increases. Why don't you just count to 17? You no, know it's dangerous. Why? It'll explode. Why? Because it'll, it's a liquid that's vaporizing. Okay. So you're just going to add a bit. But so the pressure is increasing as you add more refrigerant. Yeah. But at some point it'll cool down. But the house is not. The house is still hot. See, and there's one thing you can. There should be a sticker so on here that says the pressure. Where is it? Oh, it's in the worst spot. That's okay. But you just want to make sure you don't exceed the operating pressure or this thing will buy. Great. Okay, so our operating... So look, max design working pressure is 700, but we don't care about this. So we're looking at the design. So on the high side should be 470 and the low side should be 250. So you see how low we are? We're at 200, so we're going to keep adding. But that means the temperature is going up. That's a super cool. When I, if I open this, you're going to see a big change. Um, this is right, this is shut right now. So we want to go to 250? Or does it matter? It doesn't matter. Why can't we have them both open while you charge it? Because then you're mixing liquid and vapor together. And you don't want to do that. But these are just open. So why would that matter? The needle one. We were at 200 when we started. Now we're about 210. 210. About 220. No, about 210. 210. So you a little more than 210. You need to increase by 40 pounds. So you need to add add 40 more pounds of refrigerant. No, 